guys and gals truck show joe here so i am running down my favorite trucks and i have to say this one southern transports 389x is basically perfect if i was gonna rig a truck out this is pretty much what it would look like just kidding let's go check out some trucks all right guys and gals so like i said we're gonna check some check out some trucks we're at hd equipment which is in grand mount iowa uh, at the dirty business truck show and we are just checking out trucks this morning kind of early before anybody gets here. So, Chad Berry's Kenworth and purple truck. This truck is basically perfect. So, this visor set up, the mirror set up, the stripes, right? All the Chad Berry trucks have stands, which is important. Really good stands. Just really clean truck. You've seen the videos on it. I don't need to go in and out about everything about it, but really nice ride. And their Kenworth's really nice too. You know me, I'm not a W9 guy, but if I was, that one's cool. Nice little reefer set up here. Just good, clean, fun. Um, colors are good. Nice little setup. A lot of really nice rigs here. Let's roll back for a second. Just check the stance out on that KW of Chad Berry's. That's what I'm, his trucks have stance. So nice. Guys, this truck here, if you don't know, I love white. This truck looks really good. The stripe job, the colors, very nice, very well done. These people are really nice. Um, I see them at the show. I always look forward to seeing them at the shows. I have some good conversations with them. Um, you can zoom in or whatever. Well, let's just walk up there a little bit. I think it's pretty cool that he has that watermelon which shines down on that bracket. He's got a couple others back there underneath the panel. Just a really nice, clean build. I also love it when they do this right here on the window. Also really nice, clean build. Also really cool people. Met this guy at 75 Chrome. He was passing through. He wasn't. He stopped through the show but wasn't even at the show. Um, really clean build. This thing looks really good at night. But the coolest thing that he did that I think is just so next level, um, super simple things. Let's check them out. All right. Check out this spot mirror bracket that he built. It's just a very simple, has the stick on. This thing looks so good at night. He's got the two, the top mounted um which is which is cool because most people put those on the bottom so i thought that was really cool the way he ran those but the next the, the best thing is he's got this this color theme going on look how simple and easy look how good that looks all he did was paint that back disc i, I immediately saw that and could not stop looking at it he's got he, he's got that done down here and and underneath looks so good so simple so good. Here you go, classic old uh, 359. Really like the visor setup. It's set down really low, and you get to see that crown of the, the crown of the roof right there. Um, just pretty good looking truck, 359. And another great example, right here. Uh, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer on this. Really classic 359. This has a big sleeper on it. Real nice look. Well, let's just let's just get a good view of that visor. You see what I'm saying? It's sunk way down. You've got your really defined cab line going up. Um, just a really nice look. Beautiful little setup. I am kind of digging day cabs these days. I secretly want to build a 589 day cab. But real nice, real nice little clean setup there. <laughs> kind of hard to beat a good day cab. I don't know who these losers are, but they just keep driving by. Are y'all the... We washed that one. Y'all watch this truck right here? Yeah. Well, good job. Who do y'all work for? HD. HD equipment or CNJ trucking? HD. Oh, so is that better than CNJ? Y'all get... No no comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> yeah. no comment. There they go. They're riding out of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All right, so this is two of Jay's trucks. This is a little uh, little uh, record 
setup they got. I don't even know what you actually call that, but it has the detachable fifth wheel setup. But hey, just really clean, really simple truck. He's got this one. And then for some reason, I cannot stop looking at this thing right here. So simple, really good little stance on it, drop down in the front, nothing crazy, nothing, but just really clean. This truck is really clean. Visor set up and the cab set up with the OG stacks on it. Not not too long, just a real nice little setup. I, I just keep, it's right across, parked right across from me and I just keep looking over here going, can't really beat it so um another one of jay's trucks um same thing this this roof this roof line the way the visor is love love it um it's simulated bus glass it's not actually bus glass let's take a look at it and get a little bit closer but it looks really good it has a really good look um visor is almost perfect placement on the cab lights really nice ride of his these headlights are kind of different i don't know where i haven't seen a whole lot of those different is cool so there's that i'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit so i'm gonna kind of do a walk around okay like i said so we're gonna walk around this is a cool old pete um little setup here older older unit and and kind of a cool little older trailer so it's a 1952 it says but the, the trailer's pretty cool. Let's just check that out. I'm assuming that sucker's pretty old. Anyway, nice little, nice little setup there. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna have to kind of speed things up, so we're kind of walking now. Um, these are mostly Jays on the back row, I think. Um, just parked out over here, so we'll just do kind of a run down there. A little old Freightliner action over here. It's a pretty nice cab over here. Y'all know I'm a sucker for cab overs. Just a real nice version of that. Uh, this truck's really nice. Um, it'd be better if the semi-casual guys weren't in the way. Um, they just show up early and think they can do whatever they want. What? Right B two, B two. Oh, oh, you're actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. so I'm the problem. All, all the riffraff. The riffraff. <laughs> you know I love cab overs. So this KW here is a really nice little unit. Let's see what that is. Sixty-seven K Dub. All right, so here we go. Some nice trucks. This little uh, 389X here's got a lot of really cool stuff on it, especially interior-wise. So I'm gonna try to get into look at it later. <laughs> Looks good that they painted the back side of that purple there. Once again, that same window. It's not bus glass, but it looks like it. So real nice visor too. I don't know what visor that is, but it looks really good. Here's a 589. Hey, I wanted to point this out. So everybody's going crazy about short. This is a short hood 589. It has a split in the fender right there. So every, so all that goes forward. This piece stays here. Um, so, hey, man, can you give me like you're in my you're in my you're in my space. I, I want to film this truck. Hey, let's let's just back up for a minute and talk about this. What is this small rig? This is a nice setup here. This is this is a yeah. yeah. This is a. Yeah, I just I just have thing. the tripod and I'm literally walking with the tripod. With, you gotta get one of these deals. Yes, um, I should I should get that. Anyway, if y'all don't know Brian from Semi Casual, yeah, and he's then, over here stealing the shots. I'm just getting ideas from you, Joe. Oh, you're getting ideas. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, I'm glad that somebody. I mean, I'm actually flattered. Actually. <laughs> Um, one of J and L's new little heavy hauls. Nice little build. Um, also, once again, the short hood. You see the split, so that's how you tell. Um, chain rack in the back, Bruner. Looks real good. I, li I like their little rack here for their hoses and so and whatnot. Um, we actually just put a pad on the 389X. I haven't really showed it much, but something similar to this. 
the the rgn echo on the 389x is a more of a longer one so you don't use the one in the center but most of their traders probably work that way so that's a nice little part the jnl contracting on the t-bars nice little build all right guys you've seen this thing before this thing it's perfect there's really nothing else to say about it it's basically perfect i don't even know what you would change to make it cooler it looks really good at night it's lit up very well um it's just such a cool little build. There's plenty of videos on it. I'm not going into the specs on it or anything. Here's a classic little 379 um, setup. I don't know. I wonder if it says what year it is in the window. It does not have it. But I know it's an early one because I saw underneath it um, this morning when they had the hood up. So it, it's, a early, it's an earlier 379 for sure. I don't know if you knew that today was going to be the day that you were going to wake up and basically see the perfect 359, but it is that day, and I'm going to show it to you. I saw this truck several years ago at Denton, got to become friends with the uh, owner of it. It's, this thing is, there's, it's, it's perfect, let's just be honest. And here it is. This is everything, the 359. Not was, but could be. So this thing's got a perfect stance in the front. Colors are perfect. Visor shows off the roof again, the high line. Um, it's got the OG stacks on it. It didn't always have those, but this is just a nice little 359 build. I'm just gonna ease around it here a little bit. Really nice that they painted the tanks, left the straps polished. Clean little deck plate set up. It is on air with the bags underneath. Has a little bit more of a modern window in it, sliding window. This thing, so nice. So this is Steve Moss's truck. Hadn't had it out much in a while, but yet here it is. Very nice, the mirror, he has all the little chrome. I love it when people use those little nut covers and cover everything up. This looks so good. And it's just the extra little added touch and time that they spent to do that. Beautiful truck, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. All right, guys and guys, here we go again. j &L Contracting's little Kenworth, very nice build, very clean. Um, digging the visor with the no cab lights. It's got a good look to it. And then uh, we got uh, one of Moss's other trucks. Really nice color, really nice build. Super clean little flat top truck. And then I'm actually not sure who the other ones is over there, but big sleeper truck. I can really appreciate those big sleepers at this point. Um, you just pull up and you kind of got everything you need to camp, camp out. So, um, hey, I was gonna tell y'all, this is literally, this place is literally in the middle of a cornfield. And I, I mean that literally, quite literally. Like I said, the cornfield is literally right there. Let's go check that out. And then we're going to go check out Dirty Business, which is really what the show's called. The show's named after that truck. We're going to check it out. But literally, guys, we're in the middle of the cornfields here, and I'm not just, I'm not just saying that. Cornfields, show trucks. Cornfield, show trucks. Well, guys and guys, check this out. Hadn't even talked about this, but this is a golf cart on air. Let's check that out. Does it really get any cooler than that? I mean, really? Back up. Yeah. Got the watermelons on there. I mean, you just... It's got, it's got a chicken wing on the front, visor, can't really beat it. Thanks for showing us that, buddy. Have a good day. All right, guys, so, so here's, the, here's the truck that the show's named after. This is the Dirty Business truck at the Dirty Business uh, truck show. This is one of Jay's trucks, CNJ trucking. Real nice build, super clean. You've probably seen it out. It's been on the show circuit. Great colors. Visor looks great. The whole combo package is just super nice. 
like I said, mentioned again, the cornfields are we're in the middle of the cornfields. Let's just check out the, the spread here. So this is kind of the front entrance. That is CNJ Trucking Headquarters there. You can see all the rides there. All the rides here. We'll go back and check them out. Front entrance. So let's go check it out a little bit more. So talking about next level, you got the hammock. Hammock crew here, Caleb and uh, Brandon's up here. Super nice guys, super cool. Trucks are super cool. This new build, insane. And of course, Caleb's, you're, you're looking at a national show truck. I mean, this thing's won everything, everywhere. Always looks amazing. Um, this show's a little different than others. People aren't getting crazy clean here. Um, so they rolled in pretty dirty. Um, I'm guessing they came straight from Texas and they honestly didn't spend that much time on it to, to my knowledge. And I mean, look at them. They, they look amazing. So, um, they, they know how to do it. They always look good. That's why they win. So this, this build's insane. The traders, I'll, I'll just kind of scoot down them here a little bit, but this is a Rackley trailer, the paint on it and the glass lights on it. I took some video at night. I'll be posting, but things really nice I think this might be their golf cart right here is it yeah they got the little mini watermelons all over it so if you don't know at the truck shows there's also also I guess a golf cart um, show game to also so we, we, we need to get on that we, we, we don't have a golf cart so I'm going to bring that up in the next meeting. <laughs> this tanker polished out crazy. So this is Robert Roberts, really nice guy that I just met. Um, we went to dinner a couple times at Miami or Miami, Oklahoma. Boy, I don't say that wrong. Really clean, really clean unit here. So this is the actual um, cab over that j &L had with the service bed on it. They decided to make some changes and he was looking for a cab over. He's in the cab over. Super nice little truck. They took the service bed off of it and kind of converted it over to do this. So they haul fuel with it. Nice, nice, nice combo. Nice little drive van set up here. You know, black is where it's at. This little unit's got a real good look to it. Real nice use of chrome and black. The interior on this one's very painted up. They don't have it open yet, but uh, really nice. And here's another old 359. And th th this visor set up in the cabs is hard to beat, boys. Hard to beat. Nice little unit. I don't know if this truck broke the internet, but if it didn't, it should have. These guys, this thing is bad to the bone. The color is obviously epic. Um, a kid named Wyatt, who's a very young kid. I think he's maybe he's still in high school. Um, polished all this stuff, and it is. He definitely made a name for himself in polishing. I mean, look at this thing. I'm just going to walk down it. This little, uh, real nice little pinstripe set up there. I mean, look at that rail. Look at the, look at the polishing on that thing. So the other color is the, I don't know if you call that pink underneath. I don't even know what you call that. But what you, what you, what you call it is badass. The, uh, I don't know if they polished those or if those are chrome. Probably polished it. What? This is a 389X. I, I really like their uh, T-bar setup where it says 389X. And once again, the gold leaf and pinstripe. And really nice um, French stem back here too. The, the colors on this just really pop super well. He says, if you don't know, you do now. True. Look, look, at, those, look at those tanks. Did, I mean, did, did he chrome them? Because it kind of feels like he did. The trick to it all, though, boys and girls, 
are these front fenders. Now, everybody knows, well, if you don't know, you do now. These fenders are not great material from Peterbilt. They actually, I have a lot of things I'd like to say about them. I'm not going to on here. They're terrible. You get them polished up like this at a show, and when you drive it and or get it washed, it just they just go to hell. But this is the best set of 389X fenders polished I've ever seen. Let's just let's just look at that for a minute. I mean, it is literally a mirror. I don't know if you can see. There's a couple little spots here, water spots that it just kind of they're so easy to get burned in there. But this, these things still look amazing. Nice little example of a 39X. Still got the grill in it. Visor looks really good. This is a super nice build. I thought this was interesting to hide the wires the way they mounted those. That's a, that's a cool twist on that. Mounted it into the mirror housing. All right. All right, as always, hope has got their little unit out here. Real nice, clean build, uh, combo. This truck does very well, it shows. As it should. So let's just go down the front of the line. So you got Hoker, Babbler. I'm pretty sure, I hope I'm not messing that up. Just did you the rundown on it. Here we got a uh, 579 unit. <coughs> Schultz. Hauling, a, hauling some yellow iron, getting paid while they're here. Another Rapid Roberts tank truck build up there. Don Woods, you already know, they're always looking looking fly. This this truck, I talked about it at 75, it just has the best stance on it. And once again, that big sleeper, they can just camp out and do everything they need to do here. Um, really love the grill setup. This is his other truck. I'm going to check out the dash on this one. Nice KW here on the end. And then you got Chad and them over here with Roadworks. Truck always looks good. You've seen it. The whole setup here. <coughs> here the truck's really nice. A lot of rock wood pieces they had custom made. As you can see there. Full dash. He has the new trim rings. Chrome trim rings around the rocker switches was i was not able to do um shift plate looks amazing floor looks amazing a lot of rock wood parts there was there uh they polished these door that's one thing i need to do it's, it's kind of tough to do but they polished that whole, whole door frame out looks amazing nice build don wood stuff's always uh top notch so i'm gonna shoot this one a little different because this thing is basically perfect this trailer has the most badass stereo system put in it this thing is basically like going to a rock concert all on its own and this thing draws a crowd so it has bus glass in every window it's really cool that that's one piece window and it's tinted on the bottom. Looks really good at night when the lights are on there. <clears throat> when the lights are on inside it, it just looks really great. Bus glass on the front, bus glass on the side. Really nice multicolor paint job. Davis Brothers pretty much knocked it out of the park on this thing. And, and like I said, it is literally a scene at night. Um, it's not open right now. For me personally, Dash is a little far, um, but they, they were trying to do something cool next level and they did that. Def tank hidden in the tank there, pretty cool addition. Also, uh, you can see that they, the design is stamped into that fender. I'm, I'm hoping that's showing up in the camera. The entire fender is done that way. When it comes to show trucks, guys, that, that is one right there. So. So, like I said, this road works truck. Bad to the bone. Y'all probably seen it. Y'all 
Y'all probably seen it, but let's just check it out a little bit closer. One of a kind customs built this. Paint job is super next level. Of course, we're using all Roadworks products on this. Nice little way to do the mini heroes. Once again, the 389X style stainless stainless fenders. Looking pretty good. This, this set's holding up pretty decent. I especially liked how they did this grill with the long bars and then the two shorts over the middle. That was a nice touch. Something different you don't see every day. This, this thing just pops. Mm. Hard to beat. Nice little ride. In here we have one of these little setups. Super clean little unit. Not super long wheelbase or anything. Um, lots of lights on this. Just a very, very, very clean build. Very clean look. A bunch of bunch of lights on in the back side of the bumper. Um, try to catch a shot of this at night. Um, Kind of like that they have the Def Tank painted silver, but the back brackets are the color of the frame. It's a cool, cool little twist on it there. Nice little stack set up. Pretty much stock, I would assume, and then some longer tops. People are real um, up and down on the tank in the Def Tank. I do actually like it better there because it just allows you to have that nice clean frame look. So I can't really figure out if I love it or hate it <laughs> but uh nice build Pete Transport you've seen theirs beautiful truck I'll we'll get over there and get a little bit closer but colors are great the orange and the gray really pop I don't know see here we are again full tank in the death it ain't that bad it just kills your frame a little bit this truck's really long Super nice, clean build. Not sure who makes this death tank cover, but it's nice. It's a one one piecer, covers it all. Good stance. Here's a here's a five in the middle and two on the outside. Really nice look simulated bus glass by cutting the seals that looks really good i've been threatening to do that on the x but um it's just black behind there so i don't know if it's going to make as big a difference it, it really works good when there's when it's painted um you know a color that will show off better than black like the headlight setup a lot of guys are into these single headlights with the shaved edges to take the turn signal off the outside nice setup Another nice clean build. How are y'all guys? Good. Flex air set up on this one. Just nice and clean. All, all these trucks are not super long wheelbases, but they're just very usable, small sleeper. Really nice clean build trucks. Um, these are prime example of less is more trucks. Nice stripe job, nothing crazy. It's down low, makes the truck real good. So you've got the less is more aisle here, I would say. This is a four axle truck, uh, looks like a steerable. Something like we might run. So that's just a real, Less is more, clean, real nice deal. And then you've got the more is more row right here. <laughs> this truck screams more is more. Um, looks pretty good sitting here though. We've got her pretty cleaned up. We're pretty proud of how she looks. We're gonna get her, uh, we're gonna get her cranking later tonight um, with the TVs on and everything. I haven't really done a video of that, so I may do a little walk around on that later, but we're gonna get the TVs going, playing Smokey and the Bandit. Get the stereo kicking. Anyway, we're pretty pretty proud of how she looks sitting here. Um, definitely in the more is more category though. 
They parked us right up front, so we're super happy about that. It's HD equipment right there. Home office, the Chrome office is right inside there. And then we're right out here on the front lawn. And uh, they put us right up front and right on the grass line. So you've got the perfect grass line side picture. So I want to thank Jay and them for hooking us up with that. Everything has been really good here. This is a show where you just kind of show up. Definitely get cleaned up, but nobody's checking under frame rails and stuff like that here. So get cleaned up, kind of enjoy yourself. Um, you get to hang out with some of the coolest show truck people and their show trucks and just, just hang out and really just uh, just really mingle, basically, is what this show's more about. They're raising money for some charities. And uh, so it's for a good cause and uh, it's a good time.